Hello and welcome. This is Christian Fint for ABP Tech International and ABP Tech Canada. In one of my previous videos, I explained how to connect the Mobotics IoT camera properly to a NAS system. Unfortunately, I neglected to explain in this video uh, how to prepare the NAS system on the other side. So, uh, thanks to a couple of users who virtually kicked my uh, lower buttocks, <laughs> uh, I would like to correct this little mistake um, and show you how to correct the NAS. I will use three different NAS systems. So I'll show you th uh, how to, what to do it in three different NAS systems. That's the Synology, QNAP, and Unraid. Now, please understand that um, I have to use what I have, uh, and I'm not current on Synology, but the, the system is the same. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are in the Synology NAS system. Um, you click basically on the control panel. I, I know it's not the current uh, firmware here, but again, um, the process is the same. You click on uh, shared folders, and then you'll uh, create a new folder. Uh, let's call this folder uh, simply Mobotics. And then there are a couple of things we can choose. There's the location, it's volume one. Um, and this is important. Please disable the recycling bin. The cameras will take care of deleting the old stuff, but if the NAS keeps the old stuff even after the camera deletes it, you will run into a very, very serious problem relatively soon because the NAS stops recording when the NAS is full because nobody ever will uh, empty that recycle bin. So disable it, very important. You click next, uh, you don't need to encrypt this folder, so I sidestep this and that's it. So now we click apply. And now we created the Mobotics folder. And then we'll jump right into permissions. So of course the admin has read-write access. You can create a Mobotics um, user. I did one here and I'll select read-write access. And then I basically approve it and say, okay. So with that, we created the Mobotics folder. So here's one more additional um, important fact, and it's the same for other NASes. Especially when you have older Mobotics cameras, you have to understand that they are using the SMB version 1 protocol. The SMB version 1 protocol has been, well, has been hacked and is therefore considered not safe. Now, as long as you're staying within your own local area network and the cameras communicate with the NAS, um, I don't think it's that much of a big deal to still use it. But for a Mobotics NAS, uh, sorry, for a Mobotics camera, especially the older ones, you have to use the SMB V1 protocol. So here's what you have to do. You click on File Services, and then in your SMB Advanced Settings, so SMB Advanced Settings, you have to set the minimum SMB protocol to SMB1. By default, this will be SMB2. So you create everything correctly um, on the camera side, on the NAS side, but you forget to do that little step here. And then the older cameras will not be able to use the camera. They will get, throw you an error message like the protocol is not supported or the file server cannot be written, uh, something like that. So this is because of the SMB protocol. So once you click on SMB1 and apply it, everything should work. So in the end, um, when you look at your cameras, and um, so my own camera folder here is cameras. If I open this with the file station, then you find your camera um, factory IP addresses here. And if you click into them, then you'll basically find the real recordings. When If you use the MXFFS 2.0 uh, uh, system, then you have two gigabyte blocks from all the cameras. But that's going much too far in this point, so let me switch over to QNAP, and let's see you there. Okay, so now we're in the QNAP NAS, and here's basically the same thing. You click on the control panel, you click on your shared folders, and you click on uh, create create a shared folder. Again, we'll give it uh, the Mobotics name. Um, I'm not feeling that creative this morning. I click next. I'll give the Mobotics user a read write access next to the admin. I click next. I'll disable everything in here. We don't need it for that. 
and basically click finish and once that is done hopefully this year okay so now that's done now again um, for QNAP exactly the same rule we have to check the SMB v1 settings so we click on network and file services we click on the Windows Mac NFS web dev settings and in here we also have advanced options and then it's the same thing so in this one here you see that by default um, this this customer of ours uh, has just newer robotics cameras so this won't affect them but if it would be older ones we would switch it down to SMB1 and least secure that is correct for communication purposes and that's it on the QNAP so Let's switch over to the Unraid server. Okay, so here we are in the Unraid server. Um, you basically click on, well, this is the dashboard. Okay, so here we are in the Unraid server. So you click on shares, and then you click add share, and the same procedure, you call it Mobotics. Um, yeah, you can set a couple of things up here, which we don't have to do, you will add the share. And then it's a little bit different with the other systems. So do you want to export? This means do you want to export the folder information so it can be seen? You switch it to yes. Um, you can make it public, you can make it private. So private basically means that you have to choose the users. Again, uh, you create the users you want to give it to. So in this case, I'll use mine, um, Chris, read, write, access, and backup read write access and that's basically it I'll apply it and then I created the share on on Windows so now if I go into Windows so if I go into Windows I have my media server here I click and then I'll find the robotics folder here and now I can use it um, with any anything including the robotics cameras now Unraid is a little bit more technical um, to switch the SMB uh, version, uh, you can go to settings, SMB. Uh, there is a, a configuration file uh, which you have to uh, edit manually uh, to do that. If you're interested in uh, seeing that, then leave a comment below and I'll add this. At the moment, I can't stop the server, so I can't really show you this. Um, but it's the same, again, different system. The meaning is always the same. Okay, and um, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below or send me an email. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.